Hey everyone, Rodney and I are here at Coastal Springs Float Lodge. We've been here for the last few days. Today is day four. And during our stay, we have managed to catch all five of the Pacific salmon species. And two of them we actually got uh, this morning. I had them in front of us and I would like you to see them. And my question for you is, can you identify these two species? I think they look very similar. And one of them is actually, it's my first time seeing it ever um, in this condition out of the ocean. So I'm really excited to show you. So let's take a look at these fish. I'm going to label the top one A, the bottom one B, and I want you to tell me what they are and how would you identify them? How do you know that is what they are? 2,000 years later. So here I have two of the five Pacific salmon that we've caught during our stay at Coastal Springs Float Lodge. And now I'm going to go over each of the fish and uh, their traits on how you can ID them. So are you ready to find out what these mystery fish are? Let's take a look. So here we have our chum salmon. This is the fish I was talking about where I had never seen it in this state before. Usually when I find chum, they're in the rivers already and they're actually a bycatch when I'm trying to target other species like Chinook and even Coho. So I have never seen one this clean before. And honestly, I found it really hard to identify um, just because I had never seen one. So with the guide's help, we were with Terry today, he was saying that these are some key traits that you can look for when trying to figure out if it's a chum or not. So chum, they do not have any spots, unlike some of the species. Their eye at the front, it's relatively quite big. The, he was saying that even in the ocean, in the salt, they can start to develop a little bit of a hook at their face or that kipe. Uh, really sharp teeth at the front. And the tail, if you look at the wrist, it's quite narrow um, compared to Chinook or let's say Coho. Also too, Tail, again, like the back, spot free, and usually is quite, it is quite bright. Are you ready to see fish B? Here it is. Here I'm holding a coho salmon, again, one of the five Pacific salmon, and coho I, I feel are easy to identify just because I've fished for them probably the most out of the five salmon. So unlike the chum salmon, coho have spots on the upper half of their body to about their lateral line, and they will continue onto the upper half of the tail, not completely covering the tail like maybe our Chinook. Coho also have the white gums, as you can see in the front, by its mouth. So those are two fish that you can catch out in the ocean here, just off the coast of British Columbia and the island. And they're a lot of fun to catch. They even behave differently. I found that the chum, when we were reeling it in, it was um, just going below the boat and hunkering, whereas the coho, it reached the surface a lot quicker. And when you had it close to the boat, it was continuously rolling and trying to get caught into our, our cables and, and our lines. So even their behavior and looks are, are quite different. So it's really important when we go out fishing, especially when we're thinking about keeping fish, that we properly identify them. Um, that's because even though we have our five Pacific salmon out here, there might be some closures where we're not allowed to keep them. So we never wanna keep something that we should be putting back. If you got these fish right, if you knew it was a chum, and you knew the second fish was a coho, I want you to tell me about it in the comments. Let me know. And if you didn't, or if you learned something new, tell me that as well. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think and have to say. So leave a comment, and until next time, have a lot of fun fishing, and good luck with your IDing your fish.